I'm Chris Meyer. Join me and the Legendary Customs team as we take ordinary rides and craft them into Legendary Customs. So today has essentially been a busy day of me not filming at the shop. Um, Chris has been running around for the last two days, yesterday and today, running to get vehicles for the car show this weekend in La Crosse, Wisconsin, God's Country Car Show. And uh, he's running to get the P57. And I um, actually forgot something, so I am running it to him. Um, hopefully when we get back up at the shop later tonight, I can get a few shots of the vehicles that we're going to have in the show. Um, and then hopefully we'll get some good footage at the show this weekend. So, that's what we've had going on today. A lot to the point where I'm not really able to do what I'm supposed to do, so... Anyway, off we go. Going to meet Chris, and uh, we'll be back up at the shop later tonight. We just got everything set up. Kathy's gonna give you a quick run around. Enjoy the vehicles. Hope to see you down here at Legendary Customs. Chris with Legendary Customs coming to you straight from the La Crosse Custom Auto Show. It is their 45th year here in the La Crosse Center. We are glad to be part of it and we have one heck of a selection. I don't know if these trucks are ever going to be together again, so let's do a quick rundown. As many of you know, this is the P57. This is our SEMA truck. We earned the privilege of top 12 trucks at SEMA. It is a Chevy, excuse me, it is a GMC 
1957. We've changed things out quite a little bit. I said Chevy because that's what it started life as. We changed the front to a 1955 GMC grill. Typically this is three pieces. We molded it all together to make one. We changed things under the hood just a little bit. We changed it to the Viper V10. 650 horse at the wheel is stock. We bumped it by about 25 horse. So at the wheels, this is pumping out 675 horsepower. So I think we accomplished uh, some great things for this truck. It is wrapped in the aviation theme. We call it the P57 because of the 1957 GMC hood. Most recognizable hood out of all the GMCs. A little dark, hope you can see. On the inside, we have classic bucket seats done by Rags in Onalaska, Wisconsin. We took the dash, I don't know if you can get the camera in there. We moved it from in front of the steering wheel. We centered it, stretched it by three inches, and put the lights or the uh, instruments right in the center. Those are dolphin gauges, air conditioning, everything in there that you would need for creature comfort, of creature comforts. Oh my gosh, it's been one of those days. Finished off nicely. Now you come to the back and we have our second live edge bed. The blue comes right through from the lights underneath. Now, just like many of our trucks, we have a tilt bed. Why would you have a tilt bed? So you can see what's underneath. We have a custom frame, air ride all the way around, air suspension up front, of course the air horns to make people know that you are at the party. Nice Cooper tires. Everything in here is AMS oil, as we put down here. Those Cooper tires really grip tight and move it down the road pretty doggone fast. But Randy, thank you for letting us bring it to this show. Very, very, very much appreciated. We look forward to many, many more shows with this one. P57. Now, let's go back over to... Many people have asked me, why in the heck do you have five exhaust ports outside? Because most people expect a V8 in this. And I said, you haven't been to the front yet, have you? Well, they go to the front and everything is crystal clear then. The V10. Now, this one has been dubbed legendary mystic. Kathy's behind the camera, I'm gonna say it. It was a legendary mistake because this color actually is a mistake. The paint shop got it wrong. I love this color better than the original color we chose, so thus the legendary mystic. Now the front looks like a stock grill, but it actually was never in this truck. This is from a 1956 big grain hauler. We just cut it, chopped it, shrunk it, changed the angles, made it fit. So many people think this is a stock grill because it looks like it's stock. So it's a little bit of customization, but it looks like it could have come from the factory that way. I like doing things like this. 1957 hood, this chrome plane on there it's a pretty rare option. You can order that from the factory. Not a lot of farmers and work guys ordered it because it was an option that cost money. And these trucks, back in 1955 through 1959, they were work trucks. Nobody ever thought they were going to be show trucks like they are today. But this is a very rare emblem. Found one, had it rechromed, put it on. What's under the hood? Of course, a Chevy Big Block. Again, air conditioning. Everything that the, the 
the comforts that you need to go down the road, put some miles on. This is going to be on the power tour eventually, but this truck is built to ride. Again, full air suspension all the way around, air horns, let you know you're at the party. That is a 468 Chevy Big Block. This particular one has vintage air in it. Come around to the passenger door. And again, we've shaved the door handles on this one, so just give it a little bit sleeker look than the P57. We wanted the P57 to look more original. And on the inside, we kept the buckets or the bench seat, but gave it a little bit of the curve to make it feel like buckets. Very, very comfortable. Automatic transmission. Get down the road just fine. Now these gauges are right where they're supposed to be from the factory. Scott, thank you very, very much for bringing this truck back to La Crosse Show. He purchased it at Mississippi Mayhem last year. 2018 and he allowed us to bring it back to this show very very much appreciated Scott now in the back this is our first live edge bed ever it's cherry wood we use the clear resins we put in all of the pigments that's the same in the paint all the metallic, all the pearl, and we ended up with a doggone close match to the paint color. So this has not seen a lot of sunlight yet, so the cherry is gonna get darker as time goes by, and the darker cherry is just gonna add more character. But come around to the end. And again, what do we have? We have a tilt bed. We have underneath. We have the legendary customs air ride, fuel cell, battery, everything that's needed. And what did we do? We put LED lights underneath there. So when it's nighttime, those LED lights shine right through the epoxy and it looks beautiful. If you get down low with the camera, you can see how it shines right through. So this truck I owned when I was 17 years old, sold it when I was 19. I, I didn't find the truck. The truck found me seven years ago. Talked to a friend, Gary. He purchased it, we were talking, and it happened to be the exact same truck that I sold when I was 19 years old. Asked him what he wanted for it. I said, Gary, that's, that's too much because all the problems that were in it when I was 19 were still there. Two years later, I talked to him again. He had it, it was sitting out at the farm, out in the trees, out in the grove. Approached him and I said, Gary, I'd really like to see that truck again. He gave me a price that I couldn't refuse. We brought it home and we made it into this truck. Just awesome seeing something like this come full circle. This is a legendary Mystic. Now right next to it is my 1963 split window Corvette. This car came to us off of Craigslist of all places. We purchased this five years ago. Now the only thing that we have done to this car is paint restoration. When we purchased it, the paint, let's just say it had a lot to be desired. But being a 1963 Corvette, you don't want to mess with it too terribly much. So what we, what we have done with this car is we've cleaned up the interior, obviously. Cleaned up under the hood, but the paint was a mess. We just did some color restoration on it and paint restoration. We did some color sanding, a lot of buffing. And as you can tell, the paint is not perfect, but it is definitely a very, very great driver. My wife and I, Kathy, we drive this a lot. People think we're crazy that we're out on the road with it, but 
every car that we build is built to drive. So that's what we do. So this is our 1963 Corvette. We've had it for five years. Check out the interior on it. It is the original interior. So again, this is 55 years old. It is a classic car that if it was made today, I believe it would be a huge hit. It's just a timeless, timeless design. Okay, that was a 63 Corvette. Now we're gonna go over to Keith's 1941 Ford one-ton. Now in the back, Keith and I went round and round. He wanted a stock tailgate. Now this box is homemade all the way beginning to end, but he wanted a stock tailgate. I knew it would not work out with what we wanted, with what I wanted in my mind for a finished result. So I had this all flat and I had it all smooth and Keith's just like, Chris, I want the Ford V8. So in the end, I surprised him with this. I had this water cut out. So he has the classic Ford with the V8, something you would never get in the factory, but it just topped it off for him. We used Whoops. the 1960 or 59 Cadillac tail lights, been used a lot in hot rods just helped finish this off, give it a little bit of a different look than what you would find in a typical Ford, but very, very classic lines. Come around the corner here. We fabricated these running boards. When it came to us, it had zero running boards on it, and it just did not look like it was tied together. So we had to section the front and rear fenders. We had to section the box. We fabricated the running boards, it turned out really, really nice. Gave them some curves. You have to have curves to make things sexy. The interior on this truck turned out awesome. I'm going to bring you up front. This is a 1941 one ton. Four inches were taken out of the cab, section on the bottom, about an inch. Come around, that was the same with the fenders, same with the hood. Now, 1941 Ford. Everybody says these headlights don't belong. Well, it was a one ton. On the one ton, they did not mold the headlights into the fenders yet. They still use the individual headlights. So it's a classic look. And in 1941, it was an unusual look. But again, it was a one ton. I've yet to go to another car show where I've seen a one ton just decked out like this and give it some really classic, classic looks. This is a car that we did, or a truck that we did about a year and a half ago now. Keith's really out there enjoying it. Now next to it, we're gonna take you over to Miss Emma Rose. This is Miss Emma Rose. It's a 1938 Chevy truck. It was a ton and a half. This came out of uh, North Dakota. It was in a gravel pit hauling gravel all of its life for a concrete company, Crow Ready Mix up there. Well, we brought it down here. Didn't have to do any rust repair on it except two spots the size of a dime. This was a beautiful, beautiful truck. What did we do with it? We left it alone. Classic body lines, 
gave it a survivor look. This we did change. We put a chain front bumper on it. That was Drew's father's chain. So we put something that meant a lot to him into the design. We put a Chevy small block 350. It's about 375 horse. Really pushes us down the road really, really nice. Has an independent Mustang II front end in it. So it drives really, really nice. The interior is gonna be kind of tough to see. But we put some LED lights in there. Pretty stock. The outside is rough, but the inside gives you some really, really nice feel. So on the inside, it feels like it's a beautiful, high-end hot rod, but the outside, it's original. Now, Drew wanted this thing to be like a small truck, like a semi-truck. So what do you have to do? You have to put stacks on it. These came off of a, uh, a late 60s Nova, of all things. So we have the stacks on there. Now, underneath is where it fools a lot of people. Underneath, brand new frame, painted up beautiful. Brand new rear end, nine inch, dual coil overs, into uh, the four link suspension. It is just a race car rear end in a pickup truck. So when people, they often clone this a rat rod. Well, I think it's nowhere near a rat rod. I would like to call it a survivor. But underneath, it's just beautiful, just like the inside. So the engine's beautiful, transmission's beautiful, drive shaft, frame, rear suspension, everything's beautiful. So it's kind of a surprise when people have this tilt bed go up and see what's underneath. So what I like to do at Legendary Customs is make them be surprised. Again, a tilt bed all the way down. Kind of gives you a nice look. And on the cab there is the name, Miss Emma Rose. Rick, with this beautiful Ferrari, has given us a challenge. I've looked the car over. I believe it is more than possibly, it's a challenge, but it's possible to get it done. In June, if everything works out the way we think it will, we're gonna put this Ferrari on air ride. It's gonna be something a little bit different, but I think it's gonna be one of the coolest things that have come out of our shop for a new vehicle. We're going to take this thing, we're going to make it low, we're going to make it corner the way it should. This will be a cool, cool project. Kathy's going to take you around with the camera, check it out further. Salesmen don't want it in the window because they want a car in there. Now the boys kind of love it. You will never guess who stopped in. Check this out. I am here with 
President Donald Trump. He came to this show to check out our legendary vehicles and he is fully impressed. So he stopped at our booth, checked everything out. Now he's over checking out this great Nomad. It has been fun. Anyway, now appreciate you stopping by. What a busy schedule when you took out to come down to La Crosse, Wisconsin. Isn't that awesome? All right, peace out. Just got back from the car show. First thing I want to say is thank you, Zach. Thank you, Kang. You guys are truly a legendary team. We had a great show. Uh, Scott, the owner of this truck, took one of his trophies back, but here's what we have. Here's what we did. Um, the SEMA truck got best of class for its display. The SEMA truck also received best of class for its engine. The SEMA truck also received best interior for its class. And this one is hard for me to swallow. I think the best of paint in that class, actually I think it's supposed to go to this truck but they assigned it to the SEMA truck. We all know that the SEMA truck is a wrap. The interior is painted and it looks perfect and beautiful. Under the tailgate, it's painted and beautiful, but it's a wrap. So, but it won best of paint. Now, Keith Schaefer's truck was the 41 Ford. It won best of paint in its class. Also won best interior. The SEMA truck had first place for its class late custom trucks for the 2019 45th annual car show at Stone La Crosse Center. It received first place. Scott's this bad boy right here was in second place. For that. So overall, we ended up with eight plaques of recognition. Appreciate everybody at the show for doing that. Appreciate you voting for us. It was an awesome experience. First time we've been there in a long time. We'll go again. But uh, yeah, so we had a real fun weekend. Met a lot of people. A lot of customers stopped down. A lot of future clients stopped down and asked us questions. It was a really great show overall. We'll do it again. But I appreciate y'all. Thank you much. Until next time, this is Chris with Legendary Customs, where we take something ordinary and we make it legendary. Remember, like us on Facebook, follow us on Instagram, and please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Appreciate it. Thanks.